Let's We're go gonna on. take Nico out Hang for on. his first Koenigsegg experience. First Koenigsegg experience or first Jesko experience? First Jesko experience okay. because I was at the Koenigsegg stand in Goodwood. And you went out in one? No. That's what I'm saying. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> first fucking <laughs> day! You can't afford me! Come for on, that, that's bro. what I'm saying, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the first run. We're on cold tires, cold brakes, and I don't know how long the runway is, but we're not going to hang around, that's for sure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Contextualizing it is imagine a car that weighs less than a GT3 RS with another 1,100 horsepower. That's kind of the core componentry of it. Ridiculous supercar fest is as a as a hypercar gathering. Let me just let me just show you what's over my shoulder a second. So we have a Sesto Elemento. It's one of the rarest Lamborghinis ever made. But one of 125 Koenigsegg Yeskos. This is a Yesko attack. This is from Koenigsegg London. Got a Bugatti Devo and one of the earliest Revueltos in the UK. So as far as a front row goes, not a bad start. Uh, we have a full carbon exposed Koenigsegg CCX. We've got the Ruggera, also Koenigsegg London car. In fact, all these three here, we, we brought these down as Koenigsegg London. We have a pearlescent white Koenigsegg Ruggera, the completely exposed carbon fiber Senna. I mean, you know it's a serious event when third row's got an F40 and a Vire on it. 918 over there. There's two Valkyries. One's a Valkyrie Spider, one's a Valkyrie Coupe. Two 918s. One's rolled in here, one's rolled in there. Four GT. And they keep on coming. I mean, in what world is fifth row got a world record edition Bugatti Veyron? Makes me really proud of the British car scene. I mean, to have these cars. <laughs> Look at this. There's a lineup. It's one of the best, full stop, one of the best car events in the UK, period. The reason that Supercar Fest managed to attract this is because unlike something like the Festival of Speed, which is very much dictated by manufacturers, so they invite manufacturers and they will bring the cars that they want to share. This is owners, right? So they invite owners of cars and that's why we've got the greatest grid of hypercars that I've probably ever seen anywhere, actually. Well, certainly in the UK. So well done Supercar Fest, absolutely incredible. Every year, if, you, if you've never been, you have to come next year, be sensational. But to have these in the UK makes me incredibly proud. Mate, this is a lineup. Look at this. We're going up a, a Jesco again. 
Yes, Valkyrie, are you kidding me? right I mean it's it seems to have created the most incredible cult following and it's redefined what the supercar road rally is but I think that's very much the top line thing is people see all of these nice cars going on these road trips but not to sound desperately cliche but it's really the people right Gumball has had this incredible ability to bring some of the most eclectic group of people into one space for one week to go on an adventure that you would never do right and so you meet lifelong friends um, and they push boundaries every time. So my earliest gumball, uh, we closed Times Square in New York for 48 hours. And for some context, the only people that do that are the NFL and Macy's, okay? And then gumball come along in and do it. Gumball have taken, um, you know, convoys to North Korea, North Korea. It seems to bring down barriers and boundaries and it just unites uh, like-minded passionate petrol heads all over the world of course it's also about cars right but it's 3,000 miles 3,000 smiles and it's designed to give you highs and lows peaks and troughs and you come out one week of gumball gives you 10 years of stories all right and so it's not designed to be easy but it's designed to create memories that you you will tell stories about these adventures for years to come and uh, Maximilian Cooper, he is the uh, founder of it. This year is the 25th anniversary. It's Singapore, uh, sorry, Saigon to Singapore, uh, concluding for the uh, Singapore F1 Grand Prix. And in between that is 3,000 exotic miles, which are designed to stimulate, challenge, and just create the most wonderful memories. Koenigsegg London this time last year uh, at this event and we've come back for a second year uh, and we've, we've brought all the eggs uh, we're hosting clients here we've got prospective clients we've, we've been really fortunate to be able to bring four eggs along with us today uh, and we're giving clients the opportunity to experience these cars on the runway uh, and needless to say it's uh, causing a bit of a stir this is quite a big moment because Jesco attack because there's no storage solution for the roof inside the frunk they made it an option that you use a sort of Koenigsegg hex key to, to sort of manually undo the roof to t take it off. And so it's quite rare to see a Jesco attack with the roof off it because it's not as easy, right? So this is probably gonna be the first time anyone's driven a Jesco, certainly in the UK, with the top off. It's not a natural part of the car because there's nowhere to store it. Whereas with that, you could store it in the frunk. Whereas with this, you're like, oh, I gotta leave it in the garage now which is weirdly the absolute it's the higher speed car has the functionality to put it in the front and the reason being is that this has a, a sort of triplex setup in the front of it and a s duct carbon chimney cooling vein as it were so that there leaves no room for the roof to go in it so this is going to be quite cool it's something i hadn't really thought about just go with no top it's actually a really rare thing as well like all of a sudden you're like oh god <laughs> we, we just revved this and set off a car alarm over <laughs>
let me just show you inside this. I mean, just to just to see pictures of these things, never mind a real car. But to have one of these in this convoy, look at the sculpture of it. Let me just show you the 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 dash or lack of. I mean, that's how lightweight this is. It's basically just a, a carbon tub, isn't it? The seats are literally pads within the carbon tub. Look, it's the same thing. The chassis is the seat. Really exceptional thing. Look at it. I mean, it's uh, there's a whole new meaning to lightweight in this car. Spectacular. Fantastic to actually see one of these, you know. But I mean, look at the convoy we've got going on. Jesco, Devo, Ford GT, Lotus Avia, F40. We've got a Competition, a Aperta. <laughs> Let's go. That color's phenomenal. Look, the list goes on. Also, ultra rare Valkyrie Spider. That's pretty rare. <laughs> well, coupe. Couple more of the Koenigsegg London Koenigseggs. What an occasion. Truly, truly special. 63 edition SVJ Roadster. World record edition Chiron. Back with the carbon bodied Senna. I mean, I know I'm giving you the ultra top line on this, but where do you, where do you begin? You know, got a 765 with the optional MSO roof scoop. Check this out. If I put this in here, the there's a big induction pipe look, that goes right down the back and force feeds air inside the engine. How is that for a lineup? Just bonkers, bonkers stuff. It's an attack on the senses that this is really happening. <laughs> How daft is that? It's like a, a loading screen from Forza Horizon or something. I mean, you'd be hard pushed to earn these on Forza. <laughs> They're actually here. And we've got a super early Revuelto. I think my favorite feature on this car is the exposed V12. So there's no more tonneau cover here. It's totally exposed. And the sculpture on it, like when you're up close on these things, I mean, look at the rear diffuser. It's completely bonkers. This spec is stunning as well. I mean, in this sunshine, what a machine. Look at that, it's got some presence. It's really quite long. But again, to include one of these in this already insane lineup, I'm like pinching myself, checking that my retinas are actually working, that this is not a mirage. <laughs> 